3,045 pounds. This is the new Rockwood 19 FBS Geo Pro here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you'd like to see if we have this in stock, how we have it equipped, and what we're asking free of those pesky hidden fees like destination freight prep and inspection charges, just visit our website, which is accessible through the link in the YouTube video description, uh, or, you know, haylitrv.com. God forbid, you can also just speak to any of our uh, folks anytime, and we'll give you some answers on this thing, anything you need to know. Um, it's unrelated to this trailer. I love mornings like this. Just a little personal note. I love weather like this. I love when you wake up, you can still smell the campfire from last night, you know? You can't tell if these clouds are leaving from last night or coming in for this afternoon. And I like that, because it, it just makes you really appreciate this moment. You sit here right now, this moment, this Rockwood, and I'm just I'm just loving it out here. This is truly one of the biggest pleasures of what I get to do. And I especially love newer product like this. Now, speaking of new products, somebody asked me, um, because we, we didn't buy into the first run of GeoPros. We knew we were going to pick this up, but we didn't get right on the initial bandwagon. And someone goes, Josh, you guys are a huge Rockwood dealer. You sell a lot of these. How, why aren't you, you know, why don't you have GeoPros on the lot? And the answer was simple. We don't like our customers to be guinea pigs. Rockwood is outstanding. They're stellar, don't get me wrong. But anytime you have something new, I don't care how experienced somebody is, there's an increased chance for hiccups. And we don't like our customers to have to deal with that. So we let the first run go through, we let them work out the kinks, and buddy, we're on board. Uh, these are sharp. This is a huge departure from the normal Rockwood build model. There are things and aspects on this completely different from any and all other Rockwood RVs on the market. Um, for instance, this is narrow body. Other than their tent campers, Rockwood has never built narrow body before. So this is a seven wide. That means it's easier to see around when you're going down the road because the trailer is not wider than your vehicle. Um, I still recommend extension towing mirrors, but you'll still enjoy greater visibility. It also means reduced headwinds. Now, you see the extremely arched roof on this thing, that the bubble on that front nose cap, that follows the roof line because the roof nose cap actually sleeves over the actual roof there. Um, uh, what they did here is they have a laminated roof on this. No one else ever, ever has made a five inch laminated roof before. That's because no one else really figured out how to do it. Basically, you can only laminate on a two and a half inch arch. So Rockwood took two two and a half inch half roof sections that are like sawtooth design basically and sleeved them together with one another to make a five inch vaulted roof that's never ever been seen before in a product of this size and category. Now again there's some optional stuff present on this video for instance when we look up top um, you see that uh, low profile 13,500 BTU air conditioner. I specify low profile because a lot of small single axle campers when you do upgrade to a roof mount air the whole exterior height increases. That's not the case here. The low profile air, that thing doesn't really stick up any higher than the antenna or the um, bathroom uh, vent back there. You see that black fin sticking up off the back of her. Um, so that gives you maximum power air conditioner uh, in such a small space without really making it like extra topsy or anything like that. Now, talk about differences in this Rockwood compared to literally all others, chassis. This has uh, a huck-bolted HSLA steel frame. It's a Z-frame. It's uh, made with high-strength, low-alloy steel. In English, it's built like an aircraft chassis. It's very lightweight. It's very strong. It's not inexpensive, but it is fantastic. And in my experience, the RVs that ride on this chassis generally seem to be some of the best on the service aspects because I think if you want a good house, you start with a good foundation. Now, um... Th what this kind of is intended for is to sort of take on, you see these uh, these sort of teardrops in the market. We carry a few brands like that, and they're neat in their own respects. But basically, this has all of the living space with far more storage of one of those, but at really, really, maybe 100 pounds only extra additional weight. Not a lot. And uh, what's cool about that is... Um, how they accomplished that. They changed how the, the sandwich, the materials used in their walls. Rockwood is using Asdell in the walls of this thing. Asdell inside, Asdell outside. Um, that keeps this whole wall lighter. It's also significantly more water repellent. It, basically, Asdell is just a straight up water barrier. It also has higher R values. So this little thing has best in class insulation records. How's that? Now, don't get me wrong. I, I We're talking just a little titch better than everything else, but take what you can get. 
you know? So everything in this uh, is, uh, in some way or another, it seems like a little bit of a best-in-class feature. Like we've got the, the frameless bonded windows here. You've got these sweet UV tinted window panes. They tilt open from the top so you can use them on a rainy day, and the seal is protected under this UV tinted window pane. I don't know of anything else in a small category even remotely like this with that. Everything else has slider windows, which are cool. They have their own benefits. I've done videos on that if you're curious. Search our YouTube channel. But uh, the talk about the look of this thing. Now, again, speaking of options, you see that guy right there? That is a built into the trailer, right on the roof solar panel. You got a 100 watt solar panel built right on this. This is how we like to equip them at Halid RV. Now, with as quickly as we sell these, sometime we might run out. And we might call Rockwood and say, I don't care how it's built. I don't care if it's a base model. You have to send it to us because we need inventory. That's why I always recommend you visit the Halid RV website or speak to one of our guys here at Halids to see exactly what we have and how it's equipped. And we publish all of our pricing. Remember, the only thing on top of our pricing you need to worry about is just like state regulated fees like taxes and tags guys so did you notice by the way little bitty camper normal travel trailer full pass-through storage and again you can look around and you can see the all aluminum structure on this and it's all double-sided welded you know where they're running wiring they actually loom it and everything up here they i mean really planned this thing out um the very very rockwood very forced river thing on the back side of the slide out they have a little storage pocket now this comes with a handy little uh, floating picnic table, and it kind of occupies that space, but if that table, if you just decide to put it somewhere else, like you can just leave it on the bed, for instance, when you travel, now we've got an exterior storage pocket out here. And you know, on a little camper, every ounce of storage counts greater than on a big camper, because you've got limited square foot and cubic foot of space. So they include a handy little sewer hose caddy on this, so that you don't need to mix your sewer stuff with like your freshwater stuff. And all the hookups are in one spot, and in my opinion, they're in the correct area of the camper because they're in the correct corner of the camper. This, if you've ever camped, you know this is the corner where all your uh, your park hookups are located. So it makes sense that everything's here, and this little thing still has a black tank flush system and a full hot and cold outside utility shower. I mean, you know, they went to all of the extents on here. Now, uh, this is a really good angle. You get to see the uh, that big black fin sticking up off the back. That's the uh, roof vent cover for your Max Air fan in the bathroom. Just like the bigger Rockwoods you get here at Halid RV, this still has the bigger vent fan. Also, all LED tail lights and marker lights. That is something that's not standard even on um, luxury fifth wheels. So. Even that is something way above and beyond industry standard in any segment of the industry. Little campers like this, sometimes awnings are optional, sometimes a power awning is an option. Here we've got a, a power awning with LED lighting, and it even tilts for pitch adjustment. And we've got the bigger entry handle for easy coming and going, and double steps for easy coming and going. And we've got a keyless entry door pad, like a luxury fifth wheel. You know why? Because this little thing with that solar kit and everything, this is designed for going off the beaten path. This is the ultimate base camp, guys. If you're like, we go national park camping, we boondock, we go out in the dunes. I can't think of a better mass-produced trailer than something like this. It has all those features, but it still has all the, the amenities that you'll like if you are park camping. It is such a chameleon. It can become whatever you need. Um... So it doesn't, I mean, it just doesn't matter where you are. You're going to love this thing and have a great time with it. Um, outside, uh, this comes with a grill. You, when, with a Rockwood, when you get the grill, you get the little utility table. And I have this out here just to demonstrate. Rockwood usually includes, oh, well, not usually, the Rockwood includes a handy little just utensil organizer with their RVs. You can throw in the drawers and stuff like that. It's extra little utility things like that that the other brands don't do. Rockwood includes this. Think of how, how, how pitiful few cents. This actually costs a huge brand like Rockwood to put together. You know, that is something you're going to use every single time you go camping, probably several times a day. Um, the uh, four corner stabilizer jacks, not just front or rear. Now, uh, you can see that orange sticker right there. It looks like a Wi-Fi signal. That's what this guy is. That is the Wi-Fi Ranger. And no, it doesn't have silver bullets. What is that thing? Um, it, you know, because someone's going to look at it and say, oh, it must give me the internets when I'm not home. And the answer is no, it doesn't do that. It can make hooking up to the internet easier, though. Basically, guys, to, to, to describe it in the simplest of ways, it's a router. But 
because it has a greater power source, it can hook up to signals that are more distant and weaker than your phone, and then it broadcasts a stronger signal locally on your campsite. Now you can also take like a, a mobile USB air card and plug it into that. It can then use either the Wi-Fi signal or the cellular signal. You can tell it which way to go. Um, if one signal goes dead, kind of like a gas electric fridge, it'll switch over to the other. And here's the other thing. If you're on a, a limited mobile data plan, like you only get five gigs a month, you can tell that thing after using four gigs per month of cellular, stop so that you don't go over budget. It's very cool. And what's nice is you only have to connect all your phones and tablets and everything to one thing. And then you only connect that one time to each park you go. You don't have to reconnect every single device. Oh, I was talking about the keyless door pad and I got segment or segwayed earlier. So the uh, keyless door pad here, if this is a, the perfect base camp dry camp model, like I said, if you want to go hiking, you want to go biking, you want to go ki kayaking, any of these outdoorsy active entertainment things, or God forbid you just drop your keys out of your pocket, you can leave your keys at the campsite. You can use your touch pad to get in and out and you don't have to worry about dropping keys out. Now we've got a friction hinge door. You see how it's kind of catching itself and sort of dancing for us. It's not gonna fling open and smash the side of the trailer. Um, stepping inside here, she continues to not disappoint. Now, um, normally, this is the point of the video where I'd say, visit the Halid RV website to see what we have in stock because it might look different than this. And this is one of those times where that's not the case. Um, there's no need to call us to see if there's other interior decors, guys. This is it. This is what they look like. This is a, uh, a mass produced um, cookie cutter build on the inside. Everything looks this way. Thankfully, they had a lady interior designer touch this thing and it looks pretty darn sharp. So even though it has a slide out, it's still carpetless because the slide out is above the floor. Super, super easy to clean. Now it's a little camper and I like that they went very stark and very light with the walls and the accents and everything. Um, but they gave you uh, just simple uh, like driftwood wood tones on everything else here to really give us some nice light, dark contrast and definition. I think it's super modern, super sharp, super high end looking. Now this floor plan looks vaguely familiar to a lot of you because it's really just the compacted version of the ultra popular Rockwood Mini Light 2109S that you can get here at Haywood RV. Um, you know, the only difference really here is this has an east-west bed and it makes this camper much, much smaller than a north-south bed. Um, but really, you've got all the same stuff. You've got, you know, uh, a couple's bed. You've got a sofa that can fold down. There's the free-floating table that you can bring out here or take outside. Even the this fact that the sofa has little cup holders, just little utility detail, things like that. Next to your sleeping area, you have power outlets. Um, <clears throat> you know, with that vaulted ceiling, it really, I mean, it does not feel small in here. I mean, walking around, I'm, I'm 6'3", walking straight under the knobs, the air conditioner, nothing comes close to catching me. Big question we get a lot is, what's that? What's that right there? And that is uh, your HD TV antenna. You don't have to crank it up and down. That was that blue thing or black thing on top that looked like a manta ray fin. Now, just like Big Rockwood, this is all pocket screwed together. This style is screwed into that one. It's <laughs> screwed and tattooed, not stapled. Um, you can add a TV to these if you're so inclined. So many people are going to take this off the beaten path and, because they're not interested in sitting in a little camper and watching TV. We will generally probably not equip them with a television, though you can put a 12-volt TV in this, which is neat. But you still get all your entertainment needs up here. Bluetooth, DVD, everything. It's got USB inputs. You can charge your phone off of it. But storage. That is where they really knocked this one out. They did an amazing job of opening up every little nook and cranny they possibly could. And I love these two big drawers in here. They, they didn't waste an ounce of space in this little girl. They just did not waste a thing. Now the countertops here, I love the lighter color because it helps brighten it up, but they still it still allows for the recessed stove top so that you do have some prep space here. And they could have gone cheaper, but that's not what Rockwood does. They went with the, uh, the stainless uh, sink here. So this thing's really rugged. You can pour boiling water into it. And, you know, it's not gonna dent up. And the big window looking straight out at your campsite at your adventures, that is well-placed. They could have saved a few cents again by not making the overhead doors strutted. But then, every time you open them, you'd have to kind of do this thing with your head and then reach up in here to get stuff. And now you don't have to do that. They made life a lot simpler and easier. Positioning of the microwave and fridge in this, I think is just sheer genius. But here's another point I want to make on this floor plan. 
it is 100% functional with the slide out closed. So if you're going down the road or you lose power, I don't know, what, whatever the case may be, it's going to be really hard to lose power in this thing, by the way, because that solar panel is a 12 volt trickle charger. It will keep your battery pretty much topped off for running lights and fans. You know what else that means? It will keep your battery topped off so you can run this slide out. Even though you've been away from the parks for a long time, you can still run your slide out. That's a perfect little phone charging plug right there. Smart. Smart. Anyway, I was talking about the, the fridge and the microwave placement. It's right next to the door. So, you can walk in, grab a drink, walk out. Get a bottle of water. In and out. Bathroom, right next to the door. In and out. In and out. Easy, travel-friendly floor plan. Also, when you're at your campsite, grab a drink. In and out. You know, you can pop something in the microwave. You can walk out here, back to your campsite. You can hang out. You hear the microwave beep. Walk in, grab it, get back out. This is a camper that allows you to spend your time camping and not stuck inside the RV the whole time. The uh, bathroom here, actually pretty sharp and nice. We've got our foot flush stool. Uh, radius shower night, we've got the, the uh, radius shower track as well. But just like the big Rockwood Signature Luxury fifth wheels, we've got the, the full-size Max Air fan for huge airflow. In a little camper like this, if you're dry camping, this is going to be your primary source of exhausting hot air out of the camper, especially at night when you're sleeping. So, I mean, that's, that's almost like a second air conditioner right there in a sense. We've got a skylight above the shower. Now the skylight plus the vaulted roof means you can stand in this pretty comfortably if you're about six foot or maybe just a touch more. Um, you know, handy, just enough space down here for like, you know, stacking some toilet paper and whatnot. And, uh, you know, not just a mirror. Again, they could have saved a few cents by going to just a mirror. They didn't do that. Like even extra light switches, you know, all your main interior lights are all on ones. Look how much of a difference that makes in here. That's the Rockwood advantage. And learning about this stuff, from the comfort of your own home or on your phone at lunchtime at work or wherever you folks are, that's the Halid RV advantage. Um, learning about how these have a best-in-class diesel pusher uh, roller shade instead of a uh, you know the, the pleated nightshades. Nothing wrong with pleated nightshades, but that's just it's so much easier because now there's no strings that can possibly get caught or, or busted or anything like that. Everything in this is a step above and beyond anything else you find at this category. And there's lots of other great campers out there. Don't get me wrong. We carry lots of different good campers here at Halid RV. But this one has some cool, unique qualities. Now, we also have our full parts and service center. So whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, you want us to deliver this to your front door and you live in Washington State and we're in Michigan, I don't care. We make deals happen every day. We can do this. It doesn't matter where you live. That's what we do. We're a huge dealer in a small town. We didn't get this big by selling to only local customers, guys. This is our stock and trade every day. So take advantage of our services. <laughs> uh, I got to be careful how I phrase this, but <laughs> use me as a tool. I'm your tool. <laughs> and remember, we're not afraid to have a little fun here. We don't take ourselves too seriously, but we do take our clients very seriously. We, we appreciate your business. We appreciate the chance to get to meet you. We understand this is not the cheapest endeavor you could possibly get involved in. And we understand that there's expectations with that. And that's why we have full service department to keep you in your campsite, not in our driveway. That is not where we want you to be. So with that, all I ask is you give us an opportunity to earn your business if this or anything else that we offer here at Halid RV might work for you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone.